because food and eating is one of the big attractions going on a cruise, and I will be covering the main dining room tonight on the Ovation of the Seas, what it's like, what you can expect, and some helpful tips to make your dining experience and your cruise experience a good one. So let's get started. I deliver helpful cruise tips and inspiration for your future cruise travels. Do you like cruise food as much as I do? Let me know in the comments down below. We are off to formal night. ahead of time if you have any kind of food allergies or that you have to have certain type of food or meals or you're vegetarian that kind of thing you can let them know on phone when you make your reservation but I also would double check with the maitre d and your wait staff to make sure that they have the menus that you need and the food that you're going to want to eat. Yeah. Always is a controversy on should I go traditional, should I go my time dining where I can pick my own times. It's really up to you. It's the same food, it's the same experience, it's just that my time dining is a walk up and be seated almost like a restaurant and you may have to wait a bit of time. On this particular ship it is very busy and they told me that, that you would have to you would have to wait a long time to be seated if you pick certain there's a time frame that you can show up with traditional dining it's at 5 15 or 7 45. i picked the 7 45 time because a lot of times it kind of clashes with some shows Today we are, because it was uh, a late departure at 10, we are in another dining room with a different waiter. It's almost like my time dining and our whole table has been split up, so. But it's fine because we're at a window. And the attire is smart casual. Innovation of the Seas main dining room selection. You're going to find a lot of gourmet courses. There'll be things from all over the world, a rotating menu, and a lot of times you will not have the same thing twice. This is lamb chops. We have some, our waiter brought us some tiger shrimp as an appetizer, but it actually is the main course. And then cordon bleu fries. That's surprising, but that's what we're getting tonight. The classics are herb crusted salmon, roasted chicken breast, New York strip steak, and spaghetti. Those are always available, but then the other types of things, you're going to have your starters, your main courses, and your desserts. And they have really good desserts. I've always enjoyed their key lime pie or something like that. The food menu does vary by location of where the ship is and just keep that in mind. And also it is complimentary so you can order and try as many dishes as you'd like. Hi. 
Hello again. Hi. Thank you. We have a table for two, but the table for two is by another table for two by another table for two. So we're really almost a table of six because the space is maybe this this wide between them. So technically it's a table for two, but it's really not. So if you really have a problem with um, dining with people you don't know, uh, you might want to try my time dining. Sometimes you want to maybe book a time and then just show up later. It's really important if you're in traditional dining that you show up on time because the waiters are trying to coordinate all the menus and the food with all the people at your in your section at your table and if you're late then it just kind of throws them off and just as res out of respect for them you should show up on time. If you plan on missing a, a night because maybe you're doing specialty dining let them know so they aren't waiting for you and maybe the rest of the table is waiting for you too. If you have a show that's like soon and maybe it's going to collide with the dinner time because sometimes dining can take up to two hours let your a waiter know right when you sit down and he can get your order from beginning to end and get it out to you and get you out to your show on time. They can do that and they will work with you so make sure you let it be known. Of course if you have a problem with your table mates maybe you're just not happy there or you don't like that make sure you see the maitre d or the head waiter we have a woman that goes around and asks how, everything's do, how everything is, so you know you can always talk to those people and they can try to choose. But most of the time, I've never had an issue like that. Also, it's super important to the staff that you fill out the survey at the end of your cruise. A lot of people maybe don't bother with that, but they really want to know they did a good job because that's how they get their promotions. And so you want to rate them 10 out of 10 for service and food, mention their name, and that will help get them promoted. They'd almost rather that than any kind of monetary reward because this could get them that promotion down the end especially the assistance waiters that are working up to waiters you know they need that kind of feedback well I hope this has helped you see what it's like on the ovation of the seas the main dining room and what you can expect the type of food and just keep in mind too that it's pretty casual on most of the nights um, it's more casual than I'm accustomed to. I don't know if it has to do with pandemic or people are just more casual these days, but the dress up nights, there are generally two dress up nights on seven day cruise. And I hope this has been helpful. If you have found value, have taken anything away, it's been entertaining, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and why not subscribe? Thanks again for watching. Until next time.